Today, we're going to dive into what plugin should we be using first and how it changes the audio in real time. For all of those listening on Apple Podcasts, Buzzsprout, or any other audio podcast app, look, I apologize ahead of time. You'll be able to hear how the plugins manipulate the sound. Of course, you'll hear, you know, the audio, but you won't be able to see it. And you can chime in later on YouTube. The link will be in the descriptions below. Here we go. Okay, for starters, most producers and engineers start out with the EQ plugin. This works for vocals and instruments. In my opinion, the EQ plugin is the most powerful tool you have at your disposal, right? When mixing, I want you to think of an EQ plugin as a frequency knob. All of these are knobs and they're just controlling the frequency. All it does is cut or add frequency to the audio file. This is the audio file back here that we're going to be looking at. Okay, so this is what we're going to be tweaking. So before we get into the basics of setting up your EQ plugin, listen to the audio track with and without the EQ plugin and I'll show you what I did to enhance it. But before even then, I'm going to show you what all of these knobs are for so you can fully understand it. We listen to this audio. This is without the plugin. I'm going to bypass it, right? Let you listen to it. They want me to preach, I preach, just like a teacher teach. I've been eating beats, from that I feed the streets. Cause I can't do the beef, I'ma keep it P. Leave that to G-O-D, that's how I keep my peace. I'ma throw the peace, cause I got joy to reap. God got plans for me, I'm knowing. Had a bad taste for some old friends that had changing face. I ain't never ever switch up, kept the same faith like amazing grace. Hard times got hard, my heart cold in the street did the same thing. I'ma still ride in that range with this, but please don't change lanes. This simple plugin right here, the EQ plugin, how it can change the dynamics of audio sound, the audio track, right? You can see how it can change it, how it can clean it up, and it, it makes a difference when you play your track and you take out some of the fre frequencies and you add some of the frequencies. We're gonna talk about that next, but how it cleans up everything. You just have like a two channel track, like when you listen to it in stereo. So when you multiply all of these different tracks, you gotta make sure they're in the right frequencies. So just tweaking the audio frequencies and adding the other elements make great sounding mixes. Now, as you can see, this is the Avid stock EQ plugin. It comes when you purchase Pro Tools. When you get Pro Tools, this comes with the whole dock. And you know we have that bundle. The complete studio bundle comes with Pro Tools. I have that in the descriptions below. 